Hey, I got gold fever and you wouldn't believe it. I'm out chasing gold and I don't want to leave it. This gold detector has got me on the run. All around Australia, it's got me roaming. I find a piece or two that... Okay, we're back out in the whipstick again today and we're going to do something a little different. I've got Andrew, a.k.a. the Coffee Bush Kid with me. G'day Dave, how you going? Very well. We've got a fantastic day for it out here, Andrew. We have. Uh, we're going to try uh, your uh, GPX 5000 against my GPX 6000 with the 17-inch coils on them. Uh, now today we decided it was probably a good day to have a look at the 17-inch coils. We're out on a hillside where I've discovered some gold before and uh, we've got five targets each that we're going to go out and mark now and we're going to do a comparison to see the difference between the GPX 5000 and the GPX 6000. Now, before we head out, I've got the 17-inch coil on, I've said, and I'm just going to give you my settings. I've set my machine to difficult ground, and I'm running my sensitivity on manual one. So it's the lowest sensitivity I can get on the 6000. Now, Andrew, you've got your machine set up there, and I believe you've got it set up for uh, fixed ground balance, so yep. that's the best to start there in, the mono setting for the coil. Uh, of course, we have the uh, timing set at special, which is uh, what we're going to use when we use the fine gold mode, so it's the most sensitive, and we're in general detecting uh, mode rather than deep or custom. Uh, now, on the back side of your machine, uh, I'd be recommending that you go along with something as special, which we've got there. If we come down and we have a bit of a look here at our um, gain, we're looking at 12 on the gain, and of course, uh, your stabiliser at 12. It seems like we've set the machines roughly so we can get them as close as possible uh, while, before we go out and uh, do this little test. Yep. Let's go do some digging with Dave. And the coffee bush kid. <laughs> well look, we've both uh, found our targets, got five each here. We're going to start by checking uh, the couple I've got in front of us here. Uh, again, I'm using a 6000 with a 17 inch and Andrew's using the trusty 5000 also with a nugget finder 17 inch coil on it. Let's just take our stick out here, step back a little bit, we'll have a listen. Now these are very faint targets, so some of them are just going to turn into, I'm sure, to be ground noise, but let's have a listen anyway. Now, I think there's a little bit of a change there. That's worth me having a bit of a more investigation. But before I dig it, I'm going to switch off here now. And uh, Coffee Bush Kid, turn your machine on and let's see how you go having a hit at that one in there. Really struggling. Yeah, I'm not sure whether it's even a target yet, but um, so let's scrape a little bit away around that little bush here, maybe up in this area here. See if we can't uh, scrape a bit of that back and uh, we'll have another listen with your machine and then we'll confirm it if we've actually got a target. That little bit of bush I think has got to come out there. Unfortunately, if there's another one near it, so it'll grow back. All right, let's have a listen again with uh, what you've got there. Yep. Coffee bush and we'll <laughs> see if we uh, can't get this to come through as a clear target. Okay, look, we've heard that target with the, uh, the, the 5,000. We think we've got something there, and we're certainly getting a good response coming through uh, before on the uh, six. So let's have a balance that in, make sure it's all right here. Come back over to this area again. Now we can hear that coming through quite clearly there. Let's scrape a little bit back. We'll just take a couple inches off the top there and uh, have another listen. It's certainly coming through a lot clearer now. Almost what you say, sort of somewhere around there. I reckon that's about where it is. Uh, we'll let you scoop some up and see if we can't have another listen. If it's in here and it's a target, it's obviously fairly small. So let's have another listen. That's a good sign, Andrew. The, the sound's disappeared, which means you've got a fair chance you should have it in there. We can definitely hear a little ring there. Yep. It's screaming. 
And that's, that is definitely, I would have to say, it's a target. I'd say it's not in the green scoop. Let's have a look again. That is definitely a target to my way of thinking. <laughs> okay, let's have a look and see how we've gone here. Lead digger Dave. Lead digger Dave, and it's uh, been in there a little while. That is a tiny, tiny piece of lead. We were confident that that target, I was confident there was a target there on a six, uh, but when we ran it over the, uh, the 5,000 with the 17 inch Nugget Finder Evo coil on it, uh, in all honesty, we didn't get a peep, really, did no, we? No. All right, there's no doubt that we can hear that one quite easily, uh, Andrew. I'll switch off here and let you have a look with the uh, 5,000. Again, the 5,000 is set up in sensitive and we have our gain set at 12 as well as the stabiliser at 12. Yep. Come around this side. Now, I'm tipping it's under this bit of uh, branch there, but you're not hearing, huh? I don't think you're hearing anything there. I think we're back this way a little bit, Andrew, just in under there. Just brush him away and see what happens there. Right. Okay. Well, I think you might be getting a slight warble there. Let me uh, have a listen again and see. Yep, you think it's somewhere about there? I'm there. Okay, let's switch off again. I'm going to switch on the uh, six again here. Okay. That is chalk and cheese between the two machines. That is very, very loud. All right, let's scrape a little bit more off. Uh, I'll let you do the honours again, uh, Andrew, and I'll uh, jump in and uh, dig your ones out for you. Right, yeah. Let's see, so we'll just take just a little tiny bit off the top, and that's probably almost enough at this stage, and we'll have a listen and see what's in there this time. So it's definitely a target in here. Okay, got a little bit of instability coming in there. I'm just going to do a auto-tune now. Just from some interference, must be around out here in the whip stick. That's it, the auto tune's done. Let's have another listen. It comes back in. Nice and evenly balanced. I'd say we've moved it already there. Yep. Let's Still got to come another one. Excellent. Uh, nice and easy with these little plastic scoops. I'm tipping it's still in there, so nice and easy. It can, certainly makes it easier, I should say. Right. So you've got it there, just uh, make it settle to the bottom. Yeah, so it's right up the front. It does, and very loud now. We're left with the goodies. Not in the scoop. I'd say Lead Digger Dave struck again. <laughs> I would say Lead Digger Dave has struck again. Once again, another tiny piece of lead there. And again, the difference between what we heard there with that piece of lead and the six and the 5,000 was amazing. I really have to say that boomed through uh, Coffee Bush, uh, where it was really a little bit of a struggle for you to hear it with the, uh, the yep. five. Yeah, I would say that, Dave. Um, you have to go over it a few more times with the five to go, yeah, but I'm actually really amazed at how much it didn't really hear it. Yeah, well, it just seems the extra sensitivity that's in the 6,000 uh, is winning through at the moment. Yeah. But we've got more targets to go. Let's go and do a few more and uh, see if we can't change from lead to gold. And uh, maybe we'll hear a couple more that we can get with the, uh, the 5,000 as well. Yep. I 
I'm tipping, I've uh, just got a slight ground noise there now. I don't think we're going to worry about that coffee bush. I think uh, time to move <laughs> on to the next target. Actually, before we do, just let's scrape the surface. Yep, let's have a quick scrape, just in case. Just in case, but I think uh, I think I was imagining that one. Yeah, onto the next. Onto the next target. Okay, look, this is an interesting target here, Andrew. Like you said, it's uh, it's someone else's dig hole, but I'm still getting a bit of a sound. Now, it could just be from the moisture that's in there from the recent rains, or they may have possibly left their target behind, or they could have left a target for me behind. Let's have a listen and see how we go. That's definite. We've got to call that as a target. Let yep. me just switch off and uh, I'll get you to have a listen, uh, Coffee Bush. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a definite target. We reckon we're certain that we've heard one here, Andrew. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> That's a screamer. I'm hearing that quite loud there as well. Um, let's uh, do some digging and see if we take a bit of soil out. Now, hopefully it's a piece of gold this time that's been left behind by the previous people who were here. Okay, I've got the machine on. It's done its quick little balance there. We're ready to go again. I'm not as sure now. What do you think it could possibly still be in the hole? Yeah, I'm going to take more out. Yep, let's have a little bit. So I'm not as certain now that we've got a target here, but uh, we're going to dig a bit deeper and uh, just see if there's uh, anything. Do you reckon that's been disturbed or are we digging fresh ground there, Andrew? No, it's been disturbed. Okay, so it's somebody's gone amazing. down a bit. Look, I'm thinking that uh, we've just got some uh, wet ground, um, which would be an interesting uh, thing to happen here because if it was wet ground, we've probably got that booming signal or a much louder signal coming through from the 5,000 as opposed to the 6 that's now really not giving me anything that would say I would need to dig any further. Yeah. Well, we're on to my five chicken sticks now, so whether some of mine were wishful thinking or not, but by geez, going up against Dave, I've got my ears all pricked up trying to hear stuff. So anyway, we'll see how we go. I might get more ground noise than anything. We never know yet. Let's take him out and we'll get rid of him. Okay, let's have a listen over here. So, sorry, I'm just... You come wherever you're comfortable there. Okay, come around from a different way there. Have another listen through here. Sounds like you're definitely getting something there. You've got to stop there. Absolutely. I'll drop that one to you and let's get out our six again and come back over and have a listen with a 6,000. Come around from a different angle. Anyway. That's a very faint target, if that's a target in there. We'll scrape the surface away, give us our best chance of uh, checking it out thoroughly, making sure that we don't leave a target behind. Scrape the surface material off there. Gives you a nice flat workbench to work on there. Thank you. We're getting it over quite a big area, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we are. 
let's take a little bit off the top again. Do have one more crack at it. I'm, I'm still thinking that we're probably on to a ground noise. Yeah. But doesn't hurt to check. It only takes a very little bit of time to check, and we'll go and have another listen. Maybe we've broken the mineralisation layer a little bit there. Yep. Maybe. Possibly that's what's happened. I'm not thinking we're onto anything there, unfortunately. No. Well. Let's uh, fill this one back over, scrape him back in, and we'll move on and have a look at your uh, next target. Now I'm thinking with that slight wobble, it's potentially ground noise again. I might be, I might be a little more confident this could actually turn into something, but uh, still maybe sometimes getting it one way, aren't yeah. we? Usually, if you get it just one way and you're moving around and the target drops out, usually you can be sure that it's probably just a ground noise. I'll give you the chicken stick. Yeah. Let's flick on a six thousand and see if we get any different results. Okay. Yeah. Let's try you it. Might have snagged another one beside it. Maybe. I'm not hearing anything up that top part, but I'm a little bit interested in down here now. We'll just scrape a little bit off. Maybe that's what you're picking up with uh, one of the edges of your coil, possibly. But I think uh, I, I think if you, <laughs> we'll try and uh, have a listen again now, and then we'll do another comparison possibly. That's a target. Let's just flick off and have a listen and see if you can hear it now. So maybe we weren't quite on it. Maybe you were picking it up with the back tip of the coil, possibly. Maybe. You'd want to dig that. You'd want to dig that. It's still fairly faint, but you can hear how it's defined at each end. Yeah. Just take a tiny bit off the top. Oh, I'm liking the sound of that. That's sounding much better, isn't it? Should we uh, scrape a little bit more off? Yeah. And then we'll have a quick listen, maybe with the, see how we go. If we haven't got it out of the ground, we'll have a listen with the six. Yep. It's still a weird sound to me. I reckon we can locate this a little easier with uh, yeah. the good old six again. Hopefully, these harder ones sometimes do turn out to be a little piece of gold. You might spend a little bit of time chasing them, but it'll all be worth it if uh, we can see a little bit of yellow shining back at us. Yeah. Yep, I'll let you have a crack there, you're right on it there, I think. Beautiful. Yep, I think you've got it in there. Shake it down, because if it's heavy, it'll go to the bottom. We got it. Let's have a look and see. There you go. Once again, it's only a small piece of lead, but in an area that's been worked heavily, the 17-inch uh, coil on the GPX 6000 seems to be coming through with the goods thus far. That's 
That's unbelievable. Uh, nice and small, but you can hardly hear that once you got it out of the ground. Yeah. Quite often, when you're getting some of these small targets out of the ground, you can actually bury them deeper than what they were buried and makes it a little harder to hear as well. I think there's just... A a little bit of a there is a little bit of a variation we can hear. I'm still tipping, we're probably on Playing a ground, ground noise. noise. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you the chicken stick again. Let's switch on and check with a 6,000. Maybe we take a little bit off with our foot, just have another listen. The beauty of the boot. That's it, clears the ground. Nice flat workbench there, which is good stuff. Come back over and have another listen. Come back round from this way. I'm still thinking it's a ground noise to me. Yeah. Bit of charcoal in that there. A little bit, yeah. yeah. It's uh, just uh, worth having a little scrape, but I think we're uh, wishing for signals. I'm calling that a ground noise again. Well, we'll uh, fill that back over, scrape it back across. And look, uh, I guess we've um, been out here in the whip stick. Uh, we've come out to a patch that I've known that we've had good gold off before. We've run around with both the GPX 6000. And the GPX 5000. Both using 17 inch, inch coils. Coil. And uh, unfortunately, gold digger Dave it was missing today. It was <laughs> lead digger Dave. Yeah, and, and the ground noise kid. It, <laughs> Uh, you can see the difference that you're getting when you're going with something like a GPX 6000 as opposed to the 5000. Uh, we're going to continue to do a lot more tests and things like this on these two machines, but I think we ended up with three or four pieces of lead between us. Um, and uh, You got most of them. Yeah, and uh, a little bit of ground noise uh, uh, there as well. But uh, an interesting little session. We hope you get something out of that. Uh, for me, the GPX 6000 is certainly uh, meaning I'm digging less ground noise uh, and we're still getting some uh, metallic targets out yep. with both machines. Yep. I'm Gold Digger Dave. And I'm the Coffee Bush Kid. Until next time, bye from the Whipstick. <laughs>